Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Nordonia High School. Sorry we started this uh, broadcast a couple seconds late here. Uh, unfortunately, we had some technical difficulties, but uh, thankfully to Devin and all his hard work, we got all of that figured out now. So we are back here with Tuesday night basketball. It's actually it's senior night tonight at Nordonia High School, and uh, Coach Matt Cash um, has a special starting five for us tonight, which consists of all seniors. The Aurora Greenmen uh, are visiting tonight uh, here at Hugh Griffith Memorial and Arena. Let's start with our starting lineups, of course. First, for the visiting Greenmen of Aurora, it's Cooper Beast Jack, Ethan Hayes, Jack Fecco, Justin Gentile, and Jack Arnold to round up that starting five for the Greenmen. And then for the home green and white of Nordonia, it's as I mentioned before, all seniors, Evan Weehy, Jordan Jones, Justin Bird, Cam Kitchen getting his first start of the season, as well as Julius Jones to round out that starting lineup for the Nordonia Knights. As Cam Kitchen comes up with it on a Greenman turnover, here's Weehy on a three, off the mark. So Evan Weehy with his first three-point miss of the night. A 6-6 six, six score with 6.04 remaining here in the first quarter. Should be a great one tonight, especially the senior night. A lot of positive vibes going around here at the high school. Of course, the seniors got their introductory before tonight's matchup. As here's Jordan Jones, top of the point, finds Cam Kitchen in the key. Kitchen finds Weehy off the screen, Weehy. Looks at Jones in the corner. Here's Julius Jones. Jordan Jones backing up. Fires up an air ball off the mark. Jordan Jones comes up with the, lo the loose ball and rebound. And finds Cam Kitchen in the corner. Here's Weehy up top against Justin Gentile. The three-pointer is up and good for Julius Jones. As he's able to get... The three points for the Nardonia and a three-point advantage here for the Knights with 5.15 remaining. Knights up 9-6. to six. Here is Ethan Hayes. Hayes goes all the way to the basket and short rims it. The rebound and putback is good by Jack Fecko. Jack Fecko is actually one of the three youngest members on this Aurora team as we catch fire and in and out. Putback good by Julius Jones, but as I was mentioning about Fecko, Ethan Hayes, Jack Fecco, Mason Beastjack, and Gabriel Elsawi of the Aurora Greenman are the only non-seniors on this varsity team. As here come the Greenman with Justin Gentile with the jump shot, mid-range off the mark, and Justin Bird strongly hauls in the rebound. Here's Julius Jones. Jones pulls up off the mark, and per the offensive rebound gets a tip. He's fouled on the putback and we'll get a chance here for two free throws. Bird misses his first free throw and an 11-8 advantage for the Nordonia Knights. Gabe Bird checks in for Cam Kitchen and Robert Watson on the scores table now getting ready to check in as well for Nordonia as Bird misses his second free throw as well. But the Knights able to haul in the rebound and have another new possession with Julius Jones. Here's Weehee off the screen. Weehee free throw line jump shot is off the mark. But he, just like Justin Bird, will be able to convert at the free throw line. Weehy obviously a much better free throw shooter than Bird. As the Knights are up by three here with 4.16 remaining in the third. An 11 to eight advantage for the green and white. Now 12 to eight advantage for the Nordonia Knights. As Robert Watson checks in for Justin Bird. Weehy goes one for two at the line and it's Jack Fecco to pull it in. Here's Cooper Beastjack. Beastjack finds Gentile in the corner. Gentile with Jones driving on him. 
Gentile drives all the way and it ends up, coughs it up, but the re and put back was missed by Jack Freco, the sophomore, as he was not able to secure that rebound very well. Whoever has a chance to get and reclaim those points at the free throw line. Freco misses his first free throw. Four oh two remaining here, twelve to eight. Advantage in favor of the Knights. Now 12-9, thanks for that free throw by Fecco. Here's Bird. Bird finds Weehee. Jordan Jones in the corner with Jack Arnold guarding him. Here's Bird up top. Jones finds Weehee. Three-pointer top of the key is off the mark for Evan Weehee. And here comes Ethan Hayes. Hayes in the corner, Gentile. Gentile drives baseline all the way off the glass, no. Julius Jones, the rebound. Here's Gabe Bird. Gabe Bird looking, picked up his pivot foot, finds Weehee, cross court to Jones now at the top of the key. Finds Bird, Bird with Weehee goes baseline, lays it up and lays it in. And Weehee with a quick bucket for the Knights who lead by five with 3-11 here in the first quarter. 3.11 to go, I should say. The jump shot is up and good for Cooper Beesjack. Or excuse me, that was Ethan Hayes with that previous bucket. Lucas Miller will check in for the Aurora Greenman. He's gonna check in for Jack Arnold. Joel Jones in the game now for Nordonia, replacing his brother Jordan as Julius Jones, third member of the trio, hits both of his free throws. 17-11 advantage here with 2.56 remaining in the first quarter. Knights with a 17-11 lead over the Roar Agreement. Here is Ethan Hayes. Hayes drives again, off the glass, no. The tip is up and off by Fecko. And Fecko is fouled. Well, we'll see who it is here. Looks like Gabe Bird. It's a, on Jones. My bad. Fecko's first free throw is good. Robbie Levac will check in. Checking in for Julius Jones. Jacob Elliott is also in for the Greenman. 17-12 here for the Knights. Here's Jones. Picked up by Lucas Miller. Here's Bird. Bird finds Levac driving all the way. Finds Weehee for a corner three. Triple time for Evan Weehee. His third three-pointer already. Aaron pass and Relievac comes up with it. Here's Weehee. Weehee pulls up again. Off the mark. Here's Bird, finds Jones cutting and finishing. So Joel Jones gets on the bucket for the Knights. And the lead is double digits now at 10 for the Nordonia Knights. And here comes Gentile for the Aurora Greenman. Trying to find some life in this one. Weehee picks him up. In the corner, Elliott faked a three. And he was fouled. He's fouled by Levac. And John Henderson getting his first minutes here on senior night. Here's Gentile. Gentile off the inbounds pass. The floater is up and off the mark by Ethan Hayes. And here comes Bird. Bird finds Henderson. And Henderson added out of bounds to the Greenman. 139 remaining here on the first. 22 to 12 advantage for the home Nordonia Knights over the Aurora Greenman. Here is Jacob Ellingit bringing it down for the Greenman. Here's Gentile. 
finds Lucas Miller. Miller drives on Bird. Now finds Hayes. Hayes drives all the way. Nice dish and dime to Jack Arnold, who gets his first bucket of the game. Bird finds Levac. Levac to Henderson. Henderson finds Bird. Here's Watson. On the nice anticipation and steal by Ethan Hayes, running with running with Lucas Miller. It's a terrific block. And here come the Knights on transition. Here's Bird. Bird finds Levac. Levac pump fakes and misses the layup. And here comes Gentile. Gentile has Hayes. Hayes all the way to the bucket, puts it in. So Ethan Hayes with some quality minutes here for the Greenman, able to execute on that bucket. Here's Bird. Bird has Lucas Miller guarding him. Here's Joel Jones. Robert Watson with Arnold on him. Finds Levac. Levac is looking. Finds Bird. Bird lost his dribble. Finds Levac for a three. Oh, short rimmed it. Here comes Hayes running, and he'll take the floater himself, and it'll be off the mark. And that will finish our first quarter of play. Final score here in the first period, the Knights with a 22 to 16 lead over the Aurora Greenman here on senior night at Nordonia High School. We will be back here at Hugh Griffith Memorial Arena for second quarter coverage. Stay with us on NordoniaHills.News on a happy Tuesday night. Thank you guys for joining us. We'll see you in a couple seconds. Welcome back everyone to Nordonia High School. Second quarter action just about to get underway here as the Nordonia Knights in on senior night here at Nordonia High School hold a six point lead, 22 to 16 advantage over the Aurora Greenman. And to start off here is Justin Gentile who saw a lot of the ball in that first quarter, Josh Malone getting his first minutes now with the Knights. And a terrific steal by jo Julius Jones. Julius Jones goes all the way to the bucket and is fouled. So Julius Jones with the and one. And a chance to put the Knights up by nine. Bizjack is going to pick up his first foul. Here come the Greenman with Mason Beastjack. Beastjack, one of those younger players I was mentioning earlier. Here's Gentile. Gentile finds Beastjack once more. Beastjack looking. Finds Hayes. The drive all the way is missed by Jack Fecko. And here come the Knights. Jones, no look pass to Malone for three. Swish. Swish and dish by Josh Malone. Drive all the way is off the mark by Ethan Hayes. And here come the Knights once more. Weehee, pull up three, bang. Knights are blowing, Knights are blowing this one open with a 15 point advantage, 31 points. And we're not even at the five minute mark of the second quarter. It's a 31 to 16 lead for the Knights. Here comes Mason Bees, Jack of the Greenman, trying to find something here. Here's Hayes, Ethan Hayes. Able to put that jumper in. Justin Gentile, able to get the first points of the quarter for the Greenman. Weehee, another three. That time he was off the mark and Gentile falls in the rebound. Here's Fecco. Drive baseline, 
is now in the hands of Fecco. Jump shot's off, and here's Jones the rebound. Jordan Jones. May look for Weehee again here. So he finds his brother Julius. Jones drives all the way inside. Underhand layup is missed, but a foul is called on Jack Fecco. As Julius Jones at the line for two. Weehee, Evan Weehee is three of seven from three point range since the beginning of this broadcast as Jones hits his second. 32-18 advantage for the Nordonia Knights with 5.46 remaining here on senior night at Hugh Griffith Memorial Arena. The lob inside now finds its way into the hands of Fecco and a traveling violation is called on the Greenman. It's been a rough start to this one, especially here in the second quarter for Aurora. Have to try and find some momentum here. They do have a pair of fresh legs with Ryan Brubaker, the senior, checking in for the Greenman. And here come the Knights on their offensive possession. And it was an offensive possession that didn't last very long as Justin Bird threw an arid pass. He's trying to look for Jones. And here comes Cooper B's Jack. Brubaker unable to hold on to it, but it comes to Hayes, and Hayes misses his. The putback is good by Jack Arnold. Or it was actually Brubaker on that tip in for the Greenman. Jones has a tough shot. Bird pulls it back in, finds Malone in the paint. Malone floats it up and way off the mark. Here comes Bees Jack. Nice spin move and layup by Ethan Hayes. Here's Weehee baseline, layup is good. So Evan Weehee with a tremendous game. He's four of eight. From the, or excuse me, four of nine from the field. Here's Beast Jack. Beast Jack finds Hayes. Hayes way outside. Short rimmed. And Jack Arnold comes up with it, but finds its way into the hands of a sliding Justin Bird on the floor. Here's Weehee. Weehee drives all the way on Beast Jack and misses the layup. Here come the Greenman. Beast Jack outlet is fouled. Robbie Levac and Gabe Bird checking back in for the Nordonia Knights. And Lucas Miller, as well as Justin Gentile, checking in here for the Greenman. 3.53 remaining here in the second quarter. Knights with a 12 point advantage, 34 to 22 here over Aurora at Nordonia High School. Here's Gentile, finds Hayes, and Hayes is fouled by Watson. So it was a holding foul. And here's Hayes to inbound, finds Gentile. Gentile with Levac on him. Gentile finds Hayes. Back to Gentile. Takes a corner three and misses a corner three and it's Watson the rebound. Watson finds Bird. Bird drives all the way inside. And the Knights back up by 14. Shot is missed and here comes Gentile. Gentile in the corner, double teamed, cross court pass to Beast Jack. Here's a three by Hayes, it's off the mark. And Bird the rebound. Bird running with Weehee. Weehee fires a three. Off the mark, offensive rebound Jones. Jones has it blocked by Arnold. So Julius Jones unable to get that put back. Here's Beast Jack. Beast Jack 
finds Miller. Miller with Leavak on him. Here's Gentile. Watson guarding him. Gentile fires another three. That time he's able to connect. So. Meanwhile, at the other end, Knights get an easy layup thanks to some absolutely horrible transition defense by the Aurora Greenman. Joel Jones is coming back in the game, and for the Greenman, Jacob Elliott and Jack Fecco are back in. As the Knights hold a 13 point lead, 38 to 25, with 2.07 remaining here in the second quarter. Here's Elliott. Elliott with Weehy on him. Elliott finds Beast Jack. Beast Jack. He's able to find Gentile with Levac on him. The turnover, and it looks like Weehy committed a foul there. Yes, he certainly did. And Ethan Hayes will inbound the ball with 1.52 remaining. Here's Beast Jack. Beast Jack crosses half court and finds Gabe Bird in his path. Beast Jack still looking for someone here. Beast Jack crossover a couple of times, spin move, drives all the way to the basket himself. Nice move, nice finish by the sophomore, Mason Beast Jack. As it's an 11 point game here. Here's Weehee. Weehee drives baseline and finds Joel Jones at the top. Jones thought about that three for a moment. This time finds Weehee. Weehee finds Jones in the corner. He'll fire a three and airball it. And here comes Gentile. Should be an easy one, but he stepped, he stepped out of bounds. Very, very sloppy play there by the Greenman. As Justin Bird comes it back in for the Knights, who are up by 11 with 53 seconds remaining here in the first half. Bird has Hayes on him. Jones in the corner. Jones finds Levac top of the key. Here's Bird. Bird with Br Brubaker on him. And the easy steal and the easy layup by Mason Beastrack once again. So it's finally, Greenman have cut this to single digits as here comes Bird. Bird finds Levac. Levac looking, finds Weeki off a bounce pass. Jones tries again in the corner and is off once more. Weehee gets that one and puts it back in. Half court try is off the mark by the Greenman. So a terrific first half for the Nordonia Knights. One of their highest scoring halves of the entire season comes to an end as the Knights led by six at the end of the first quarter and lead by 11 here at halftime. Ryan, uh, excuse me, Evan Weehy on absolute fire. We'll talk about him in a couple of minutes here. And the Knights really benefiting from the positive energy, this positive crowd here on Senior Night. But we will be back with you for second half action here on NordoniaHills.News. Thank you guys so much for listening here on a Tuesday night here at Nordonia High School. We will be back with you. I'm Darius Sethna, and you're listening to Boys Varsity Broadcasts on NordoniaHills.News. Thank you guys so much, and we'll be back here for the third corner coming up.
Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to Nordonia High School as the high school pep band have just concluded their halftime festivities. Meanwhile, here at Hugh Griffith Memorial Arena, the Knights have a 13 point advantage thanks to an early bucket by Justin Bird. And Ethan Hayes able to get on the scoreboard as well. It's an 11 point game here for, in favor of the Knights, excuse me. A 42 to 31 advantage to be more specific with 722 here remaining in the third. Here is David Gentile of the Aurora Greenman with Cam Kitchen guarding him. Special senior night tonight. So Coach Matt Cash of the Knights decided to go with an all-senior lineup with Julius Jones, Jordan Jones, here's Cam Newton, excuse me, here's Weehee on the pull-up. As I mentioned, Julius Jones, Jordan Jones, Evan Weehee, Cam Kitchen, and Justin Bird to finish it out there for your Notre Dame Knights as Jones with a nice curl inside as he was able to get the bucket. A nice steal and turnover. Here comes Jones again. Nice behind the back pass. Kitch finds its way in the hands of Kitchen. He can't finish. And Jones will come up with it. Jones fakes a three. Finds Weehee for a better shot. That's good. So Evan Weehee hasn't cooled off. Evan Weehee hasn't cooled off with that halftime break. He's on fire, ladies and gentlemen. As an air ball is thrown up. It's been a rough outing for TJ Henderson and his Aurora Greenman. TJ Henderson is Aurora's coach this evening, as here is Jones. Weehee, another three. You've got to be kidding me. Another three. His stroke is pure butter right now. He is sizzling like a Philadelphia cheesesteak, ladies and gentlemen. Gentile will try to answer and does. So David Gentile saying, well, oh, hold on a second, Evan Weehee. Let me hit you with a three of my own. Here's Fecko out to Beesjack. Cooper Beesjack, that is. Jones dives for it, and it looks like we're going to have a foul called here. And a timeout is called. A 50 to 36 advantage for the Nordonia Knights, with 513 remaining here in the third quarter as the Knights as the Knights will take a 30 second timeout here. Hey, if you haven't yet, and I'm not sure if, why if you haven't yet, make sure you check out my Twitter page, at Nordonia Sports, I am Darius Sethna. We have a lot of new stuff coming up, especially uh, with the conclusion of this weekend's All-Star Game in Charlotte. And we also have some new episodes this week from the Cleveland, from the Cleveland Sports Show. So if you haven't, make sure you check out at Nordonia Sports is the Twitter handle. I am Darius Sethna. Or you can go to NordoniaHills.News and check out all the other tremendous work that's being posted here in the Nordonia community. You can see broadcasts, shows from the Cleveland Sports Show, as well as other work from students here at Nordonia High School as we're back here at Hugh Griffith Memorial Arena. And here is Julius Jones, finds Cam Newton on a three. Way off the mark. And Jones comes up with it. Jordan Jones, that is his layup and put back is good. The Knights are pouring it on right now. Jones is two for four from the field. Here is the pull up by Gentile. So Gentile's starting to get it going here. He's three for five from the field. And here comes Jones of the Knights. Jones finds Kitchen. Kitchen, the Euro step and is rejected out of bounds. 
as the Knights hold a 14 point lead with 4.27 remaining in this third quarter. Here's Wiki, another three. No way, no way. He is on another level, folks. This is just breathtaking. Another bucket for Wiki. As Justin Bird commits a foul on the other. Lenny Fechner is at the line for the Greenman, getting his first minutes in this one for Aurora. Three changes here for the Knights. Robbie Levac, Gabe Bird, and Robert Watson will all check in. They'll check in for Justin Bird, Cam Newton, or Cam Kitchen, excuse me. Uh, Cam Newton plays another sport called American Football. Uh, Cam Kitchen and Jordan Jones. As Robert gets the rebound, Robert Watson that is. Here is the layup and lay-in by Gabe Bird for two. Gentile pulls up for three, short rimmed, and Watson the rebound. Levac's pass got deflected, and the ball will remain with the Knights as the Aurora and Greenman need to talk it over as the lead has ballooned to 18, ladies and gentlemen. The Knights with a 15, or excuse me, 57 to 39 advantage here in the third quarter. Knights will have a quick 30 second timeout to discuss things here. We'll be back with you after this timeout in a couple of seconds. Welcome back everyone here on a Tuesday night at Nordonia High School. But it's not just any ordinary Tuesday night. It is senior night here tonight. As I previously mentioned that Nordonia coach Matt Cash um, had a special lineup tonight. All the starting fives were all seniors. As we, he has to go in the backcourt to get it. Here's Bird on the offensive possession for the Knights. Bird with Gentile on him. Bird finds Julius Jones, drives all the way to Watson. Watson, layup is good. And this is the largest lead of the game at 20. Knights with a 59 to 39 pour on here against the Greenman. As we had a kickball, but the refs are gonna, refs are gonna let the Greenman play on. And here is Cooper Beesjack. Fechner drives all the way. Floats it up and misses. And Weehy outlet and great anticipation by Beastjack. Beastjack keeps it alive. Tried to find Hayes and it got intercepted by Weehy. Alley oop to Bird. Passes to Jones and he is fouled. So Julius Jones will head to the line. What a terrific pass by Weehy. And then the anticipation from Bird. Being able to find Julius Jones there, a terrific overall offensive possession, and it's been that kind of night here tonight for Nordonia, as Jones misses his first free throw. The Knights with 59 points with 2.46 remaining here in the fourth quarter. 60 now officially, thanks to Julius Jones's free throw. Here comes Ethan Hayes. Hayes tried to find Lenny Fechner, who wasn't anticipating the pass. It's been a night of all around frustration for the Green Men. Huihi inbounds to Bird with Gentile on him. Bird crosses half court officially now. 
Finds Jones. Thought about the three. Here's Joel Jones, that is. Jones finds Bird. Bird with Gentile on him once again. Bird a couple of crossover moves. Finds Levac. Levac to Jones in the corner. Now he'll fire and hit a mid-range two. It's a 23-point lead, the largest of the game for the Knights. Jacob Elliott drives, kicks it out in the corner. The three is up and off by Cooper Beastjack. Fechner the rebound, out to Hayes for a three. Clapped good. So, Ethan Hayes with a three-pointer. He how has 14, and Gentile, Justin Gentile that is, with 13. For the leading scorers for Aurora. Here's Bird. Bird finds Jones. Jones looking, finds Weehee in the corner. Weehee finds Jones, what a dish. Jones can't finish it off. As Fechner has it and he finds Cooper Beastjack. Beastjack finds Gentile, Gentile's gonna take it himself and he'll find Fechner, great dish by Gentile. as the lead has been cut to 18 here, 62-44 with in favor of the Nordonia Knights with 115 remaining in the third quarter. Levac to inbound. Levac finds Julius Jones. Gentile on him. Jones drives and finds Bird. Levac, nice pass inside to Jones. Jones falls, stumbles, but the ball finds its way in the hands of Levac, and it's back to 20 as Julius Jones is called for the foul. Fifty-two point one remaining here in the third quarter. Knights with their highest scoring, with their highest score, excuse me, most points through three quarters with sixty-four. Here's Fechner finds Beast Jack. Beast Jack drives, lays it up, and lays it in. So, thirty-three seconds remaining here. Here's Jones. Julius Jones drives. Finds Bird in the corner with Gentile on him. Robert Watson off the glass, off the mark. Gets his own rebound. Fouled. That shot will not count, so no continuation there. It'll be two free throws for Robert Watson. Oh, I didn't see Robert Watson is hurt. Looks like he may have hurt an ankle there. As he went for that putback. Hoping he's okay. It's official timeout here. Watson is still down. Doesn't look too terribly in pain as he's able to get up now. Slow to get up. And hobbling very much so. And needs Cam Kitchen and the athletic trainer support as Robert Watson is assisted off the court and an unfortunate blow for the Nordonia Knights. Have to keep playing though. The good news is they are up by 18 with 60 with a 64 to 46 advantage here in the third quarter. Final 20 seconds here of the third quarter as Joel Jones comes up with it, finds Bird, Bird to Julius Jones. Jones with Miller on him. 
Jones to his brother Julius. <laughs> Julius Jones looks, pulls up for three. Way off the mark, and Bird did not get that shot off in time. But ladies and gentlemen, what a game through three quarters for the Nordonia Knights. They still have a lot of work to do, though, to finish this one off as they lead by 18 here with, as, excuse me, as they lead as they lead the Aurora Greenman by a score of 64 to 46, an 18 point lead for the Knights heading into this fourth quarter. You're listening to Nordonia Hills Boys Varsity Broadcast with Darius Sethna here on NordoniaHills.News. Thank you very much for listening and we will be back to wrap up this interscholastic interscholastic matchup between the Knights and Greenman. Welcome back everyone. Sorry uh, when I was exiting you guys out for that break. I was actually listening to um, the public announcer address. Evan Weehy has set a record tonight. A season record for most threes in a game. Excuse me, no, um, he has 50, 57 threes on the season. Is how many he has, which sets a league record. And especially with his hot shooting tonight, no surprise there. As the fourth quarter action is underway here, and Hayes drives and gets rejected. The putback by Fecco is no good, and the Greenman come up with it. Pull up three is up and in for Cooper Beastjack. So not how the Knights wanted to start out that fourth qu this fourth quarter. Here's Bird finds Weehee. Weehee to Justin Bird. Weehee finds Bird again. That is off. Bird gets it back. Misses the layup. So Bird having some difficulties being able to cash that put back in. And here come the Greenman in a 15-point hole with Cooper Beastjack. Beastjack drives, free throw jump shot is good. So it's a 13-point game here, 7.05 remaining. From 23, it's gone to 13 as Weehee's off on the three. The drive is blocked from Miller, and here comes Bird. Bird with Malone running with him, and Bird goes up and lays it in. 66-51 advantage for the Knights. Hayes drives off the glass, no. Knights can't get the rebound, and an easy layup for Lenny Fechner, as it's a 13-point deficit for the Aurora Greenman. Here's Bird. Bird drives all the way in the paint. The Euro step is off. Okay, Bird missed the layup. And here comes Fechner. Fechner with Malone on him. Now drives all the way inside and misses. So we have Jack Fecco committing a foul here with 6.03 remaining in the fourth quarter of action in this interscholastic matchup. Senior night here at Nordonia High School. It's a 66 to 53 advantage for the Nordonia Knights here at Hugh Griffith Memorial Arena. And here is Weehee with Bees Jack on him. Finds Jordan Jones out to Bird. Bird looking. Bird drives all the way inside. Finds Weehee in the corner. Off on the three, so Weehee Still scoreless here in the fourth quarter as Fechner comes with it. Fechner finds Hayes. Hayes with Malone guarding him. Hayes finds Fechner with Bird on him. Back to Hayes. Beautiful two-man game there. And it's an 11-point game with 5.15 remaining here in the fourth quarter. 
Here's Bird. Bird drives inside, kicks it out to Malone, the two. That's good. So, Josh Malone with his, with his first field goal of the night. He's one for two. Cooper Beastjack drives inside and puts it in. Beastjack now with nine, but he has two fouls. Three by Justin Bird is short rimmed. Now let to Hayes. Here's Hayes, drives all the way inside and lays it up and in. It is a single digit ball game, ladies and gentlemen. 4.30 remaining here in the fourth quarter. It's a 68 59 lead for the Nordonia Knights as they have had their 23 point lead trimmed all the way down to nine. And Hayes came up with a steal, but fortunately found its way into the hands of Bird, who tries a three and it's off. And Gentile the rebound. Finds Beast Jack to Hayes. Hayes is fouled. Great recognition from Gentile to get it to Cooper Beast Jack and then found Hayes, who's really been showing out. As we have a timeout called here with 4.04 remaining. And Matt Cash certainly not happy with how his team has started this fourth quarter. It's a 68-59 advantage for the Knights here on senior night at Nordonia High School. Just uh, during this break, I want to let you guys know that the Cavs begin their, action, begin their action once again this upcoming Thursday against the Phoenix Suns. Tip-off for that is at the queue at 7 o'clock as Devin Booker and friends will be coming into town to take on the Cavaliers fresh off of their long vacation from the All-Star break. So Cavs and Suns, Thursday at 7 on Fox Sports Ohio. You can also watch the Cleveland Sports Show and other broadcasts on my Twitter account, at Nordonia Sports. I'm constantly posting um, new stuff for you guys, especially with the conclusion of the All-Star break this past weekend in Charlotte. And a lot of information for you guys to foretake in my Twitter page. But here at Nordonia High School, 404 remaining in the fourth quarter. A 68-59 advantage for the Knights who have seen their 23-point lead cut all the way down now to 8 and maybe even 7 if Hayes makes the free throw. Ethan Hayes with 20 points after that free throw, and the lead is cut to 7. We've got a brand-new ball game here at Nordonia High. Jones finds his brother Jordan. Jordan Jones drives all the way. Can Put back is good from Jones after being unable to finish the layup. Here's Hayes. Hayes is triple team, coughs it up. Finds Gentile. Gentile for three. Yes. Justin Gentile has made this a six point game. As Julius Jones puts it back in for the Knights, it's an eight point lead. Here come the Greenmen, and they turn it over. And who was it off of? It was off of Mason Beesjack. And the Knights will have another possession here. 315 remaining, 72-64 in favor of the Nordonia Knights. Here's Jones. Gentile on him. As we come up on three minutes remaining here in the fourth. Jordan Jones backs in. Thought he was fouled. Gets his own rebound and put back his off the mark. Gets it again and is fouled this time. So Jordan Jones will head to the free throw line and look to, to put the Knights back up by 10 and give them a double digit lead once more. 2.56 remaining here in the fourth. Knights with a 72-64 lead. Yeah. 
Jones, this is second free throw, and it's a nine-point lead for Nordonia. Here come Aurora now with Hayes. Hayes, their top scorer with 20. Hayes looks for Fechner, and Weehy able to come up with it, and it's a foul on Fechner on Weehy, and another turnover. The Freeman have come all the way back from a 23-point deficit. Here's Weehy. Weehy finds Bird. Bird couldn't hang on to it, now does. And it's turned over. Here come the Greenmen. Beastjack all the way. Layup is up and in for Cooper Beastjack with 11 points now in the game. Nice dish to Bird. Layup and lay in. Lead is back to nine. Here's Gentile. Fechner. Finds Hayes, who's been the hot guy here in the fourth. Bees Jack. Hayes with Fechner posting up. Jordan Jones goes to the rim and misses the floater. Jones comes up with it. Jordan Jones. Nice pass to his brother Joel, who couldn't finish it. And we have a foul called. Looks like it's going to be on Aurora. It's going to be on Fechner again. Or, excuse me, it's going to be on Gentile of the Greenman. And Justin Bird will be at the line for two. Looking to put the Knights up by 11 here with 1.46 remaining in the fourth quarter. And surprisingly, Ethan Hayes is going to come off. Substitution made by TJ Henderson of Aurora. As Bird misses his second free throw. However, he goes one for two, and the Knights lead by 10 here with 140 remaining. A 76-66 lead for the Knights. These are the most amount of points they've scored in a game this season. Gentile for three. Yes! Again. It's Justin Gentile. Gentile now with 19 points, and it is a seven point game with 126 remaining here in the fourth quarter. And the Knights need another timeout. The 23 point lead from the Nordonia Knights has been washed away as we will be back with you in a couple of seconds here on NordoniaHills.News. Stay wish with us. It should be a very thrilling finish down the stretch here at Nordonia High School. Welcome back, everyone, to Nordonia High School. Senior night here at Hugh Griffith Memorial Arena, and the Nordonia Knights with a 76 to 69 lead with 126 remaining here on their home floor. And Bird to inbound on the Knights baseline. Finds Julius Jones. Jones with Gentile on him and it went off Gentile's foot. And it's gonna be, it's gonna be on just off of Justin Gentile's foot. And here comes Jones. Jones looking, trying to find someone. He finds Levac. Levac back to Jones. Here's Bird. Knights will probably take their time here as Hayes fouls Bird and actually picks up his first foul of the game. That's the one benefit of the Greenman Hayes, who has 20 points only picks up his first foul and we only have 109 remaining here in the fourth quarter as Jack Fecco comes in for Jacob Elliott who really hasn't seen the ball that much as Bird's three throw is off but Levac picks up the offensive rebound and here's Weehy Weehy double team now and coughs it up here comes Fechner Fechner to Hayes. Hayes is going to try a three and knock it down. It's a four point game. Knights need another timeout. 
54.9 remaining. I told you guys it was going to be a sensational finish, and I think that's what we're going to get here. Stay tuned with us, 76-72, uh, with the final minute of play coming upon us here at Nordonia High School. You're listening to Nordonia Hills Boys Varsity Broadcast with Darius Sethna here on NordoniaHills.News. Thank you guys so much for listening, and tune in for the final minute of this one. Should be a terrific fin finish. Thank you. Welcome everyone to Nordonia High School as the Knights have coughed up a 23 point lead and are only up by four now with 54.9 remaining here in the fourth quarter. Knights with a 76 to 72 advantage and we have a holding foul on Justin Gentile to start off the final minute. as Julius, jo Julius Jones will head to the line for the one-in-one -one situation. And Jack Fecco is going to check in for Jacob Elliott, deja vu. Jones's free throw is good. So we'll be able to have one more here. as the Knights lead by five. And now six. Two clutch free throws from Jones. Here comes Cooper Bizjack. Bizjack finds Gentile. Gentile's pull up, tough shot, he got it. We have another timeout. As Justin Gentile now with 21 points, second leading scorer for the Aurora Greenman as we have a full minute timeout here. 78-74 is the lead for the Nordonia Knights as we come up on the final seconds remaining in this one. Stay tuned with us here on NordoniaHills.News. It should be an amazing finish here at Nordonia High School after the Knights cough up a 23 point lead. Now we'll see what they have here in the clutch. Stay tuned with us everyone. Welcome back everyone on a chilly Tuesday night here at in Macedonia, Ohio, but it's nice inside here at Hugh Griffith Memorial Arena in Nordonia High School. The Knights on senior night, as it is, had a 23 point lead in the third quarter. Ladies and gentlemen, they have coughed that up and are now only up by four and we he turned it over. What a silly play. How could he do something like that? It went off his knee. The Knights are crumbling before our very eyes, ladies and gentlemen. And the Knight, oh, terrific pass by Hayes inside. The layup is off. And here comes Beast Jack. Beast Jack for three. No. And Fecko is called for a push. An offensive foul. A huge break there. as Fecko picks up his fourth and Jordan Jones will head to the line. A four point game here with 36.6 remaining. Knights with a 78-74 advantage. Jones misses his both and because it's the one-on-one -on -one situation, he can't have another one. And the ball went off the Knights apparently and it's gonna be another chance here for the Greenman. Here comes Beast Check. Gentile drives and coughs it up. 
Here's Jones. Jones is fouled. I think he wanted to call a timeout, but he was fouled first. He was fouled by Ethan Hayes. Hayes is going to pick up. He's going to pick up his second here. And Julius Jones will head to the line. Jones' first free throw is good. So it's a five point game with 24.7 as Gentile with that costly turnover. Jones misses his second. Here comes Hayes the rebound. Hayes finds Beast Jack in the corner. Off the mark, Burr the rebound and we have another offensive foul call here on Aurora and Bird to inbound. Here's Bird looking, still looking. He calls a timeout and the Nordonia Knights will be given a timeout. Final 17.3 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. Knights with a 79-74 advantage on their home floor on senior night against the Aurora Greenman. We'll be back with you in a couple of seconds. Stay tuned with us. Welcome back everyone. Final 17.3 of regulation here as the Knights have a 79-74 lead against the Aurora Greenman. After enjoying and lavishing on a 23 point lead, the Knights feasting a little too much here and it pays off for the Greenman as they have cut this lead all the way, this deficit, excuse me, all the way to five. And Gentile fouls Julius Jones for the one-on-one -on -one situation here. And ladies and gentlemen, Julius Jones has been knocking down his free throw, so hopefully he can get at least one of two. It's already a two-possession game with a five-point lead. Jones can increase that here at the line. Jones misses his first, and it's not the one-on-one -on -one situation, so Julius Jones will have a second opportunity here. Needs this one. Jones hits his second. It's a six-point game. Here's Gentile. Gentile lost it out of bounds. So David Gentile with two costly turnovers, which will most likely cost his team this game as Weehee's double teamed and the Knights need and yet another timeout. It's kind of strange because Weehee could just have waited till he got fouled. Nonetheless, 8.1 remaining as the Knights have an 80 to 74 lead. The Knights have scored 80 points in this one, ladies and gentlemen, but their work is not done as they have to hold off the Greenman for another eight seconds here. We'll be back with you for from this time after this timeout here at Nordonia High School. You're listening to Nordonia Boys Boys Varsity Broadcasts with Darius Sefna here on NordoniaHills.news. Stay with us, everyone. Should be a tremendous finish. Welcome back, everyone, to Nordonia High School as the Knights, who were up by 23, have coughed that up in the blink of an eye and lead by six here still, fortunately, but they're going to have to play eight, eight quality seconds of defense here. Most likely they'll have to have one more defensive stop. They'll inbound here with the offensive possession. Coach Matt Cash wants Wiki to hold it, and that's going to do it as the Greenmen do not foul, and that's going to conclude tonight's interscholastic matchup. Final score, the Nordonia Knights defeat the Aurora Greenman by a final score of 80 to 74. 
Knights able to hold on here after coughing up a 23-point deficit, and Robert Watson on the floor, um, hopping on one foot. So it looks like he's feeling a lot better after that injury. So that's nice to see as well. But the final score here, the Knights able to have victory over the visiting Aurora Greenman. We'll be back with you on the post-game show in just a couple of minutes. Stay tuned for the post-game show. Nordonia High School where we just finished our interscholastic matchup between the Nordonia Knights and the visiting or three minute with senior night here so coach Matt Cash decided to start a full starting lineup of seniors tonight. Evan Weeby with just a sensational night poured in 25 points. Julius Jones also with a sensational night as well. He poured in 24 points. On the Freeman side it was um, Ethan Hayes with 23 points and then Justin Gentile to finish the game off with 21 points. The Knights who had a 23 point lead in the third quarter coughed it up and the lead was eventually cut all the way down to five. Uh, however, the Knights were able to hold on and it was unfortunately too little too late for the Aurora Greenman. That concludes our broadcast for this evening. The Knights will conclude their regular season here at Nordonia High School this upcoming Friday against the Twinsburg Tigers. But that's all to do for today. Happy Tuesday, everyone, and uh, see you guys Friday. Thank you.